Well, hello guys. This is a shake like number eight. All right. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you uh, just a quick tips on how to jailbreak your uh, unlock and jailbreak your iPhone 3G. All right. As you can see, I'm using Mac OS 10.5.6. Make sure you fix the the DFU mode because the ten because OS X ten point five point six you know, didn't recognize iPhone in a D DFU mode. Uh, make sure you fix it first. You just go to iClarify.com. Uh, learn how to fix it first. Then you can continue to jailbreak or unlock your iPhone. First, what you have to do is you open Phone H2 2.2 2.2.5, right? This will, and then this will come out. You have to press OK first. You have to go to expert mode. Right, and then now you go to iPhone 3G, right? Expert mode, iPhone 3G, and then you click next. I've been doing this for so many times, guys. I think seven to eight, eight to nine times already. You go, okay nice the only firmware that I have on my MacBook iPhone 1.2 which which is have, uh, the 3G firmware 2.2.1 all right let's click this one go next first you have to go to general all right guys this is very important if you have the supported carrier for your iPhone for your phone you have to unclick this but if you have the unsupported carrier for your uh, for your iPhone you have to click this to activate your phone all right and this one you leave it disable partition, uh, partition wipeout normally I change this one to 550 550 megabyte remember guys unsupported unclick uh, unsupported click supported carrier you have to unclick okay I've tried both all right because I've jailbreak a uh, few iPhone and then you click next this one blank and then you click next again this one up to you which one you want to pre-install first like I always do I always download the APT the automatic SSH open SSH the open SSL all those kind of thing that I want to pre-install you click it or maybe you want to go to download packages and refresh and choose it from here all right go next you have to click CDI installer and the installer some people don't want the installer but uh, I think you should click the installer because without uh, without without the installer you cannot use the new IC you cannot use the IC right ICY then you click next this one up to you change your put logo and change your recovery logo and then that's it guys build build I don't want to save it because I've done a few already just save it to the desktop 
follow the program you have to you have to prepare yourself to hold the home button and the power button for 10 seconds release the power button hold the home button for 10 seconds and then you are done go to iTunes uh, you have to press alternate or option you press this one hold it and you click restore I mean iTunes uh, I haven't unplugged I haven't plugged my phone you have to click alternate option no I mean what uh, once once your iPhone in the FU mode the iTunes will pop up saying that your I, your phone need to be restored through iTunes okay yes you have to click alternate option you have to click restore to, to iTunes and then you search the your custom firmware uh, that you just built just now you know click it uh, and that's it guys all right but for me the most important thing is the rest is all easy for me but the most important thing is the general column inside this ponage tool activate or unactivate right unactivate is for the supported carrier and activate is for the you know oh my gosh what I'm saying unsupported you have to unclick it you have to click it uh, supported you have to unclick it right that's it from me guys hope this helps uh, see ya